Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is your fourth and final fan-requested Friday matchup of the week. Kevin Lavroni, HGP, which is the Hungarian Grand Prix, or Grand Prix Hungary, versus Chris Cormier, Mr. Olympia 1990 Ning. Anyway guys, this is a very close matchup, no matter how you slice it between these two guys. I mean, perennial contenders for the Olympia crown. Chris Cormier, of course, placing third, at least on two different occasions. And Kevin Lavroni placing second on more than that, more than that, more than, like probably four times, I do believe. Maybe even five times he placed second at the Olympia. But anyway, guys, structurally speaking, I mean, this is obviously not the same pose. So let's get into the poses. There was no good front relaxed of Kevin Lavroni from the... Grand Prix Hungary, but there was a good rear relaxed, so I figured this is just as good. If you're going to judge the front, you got to judge the back too. And speaking of back, look at Chris Cormier, guys. He placed third in one of the deepest lineups in Mr. Olympia history for a reason. He had one of the greatest back developments, I'm telling you right now, but he lacked striations in the glutes. But other than that, guys, he is, this is perfection. This lighting at the Grand Prix Hungary, it really honestly looks like Kevin Lavroni was sp sprayed with some sort of glowing orange liquid. Let's go to the first mandatory shot. Muscularity round, of course. You remember them glow sticks that you could get? Rambo used one, I believe, in Rambo 3. You snap them, you shake them. And then they glow. It looks like Kevin Lavroni is smeared with that stuff. Just smeared with that stuff. One of the orange ones, not one of the blue or green ones. We had the green ones growing up. But anyway, V Taper looks superior for Kevin or for uh, Chris Cormier. I apologize, but those arms of Chris Cormier, he looks amazing at the Grand Prix Hungary, 1997. Not to mention the wheels. The wheels on both gentlemen, though both gentlemen. Chris Cormier, maybe not the strongest in the, I don't want to say arms, he has good biceps. It's the balance, maybe. Maybe a little bit weaker in the forearms. I can't quite put my finger on it. But Kevin Lavroni's not beating him. He's not beating him. This is a very tight matchup. Go to the front lat spread. Hard to get the sizes correctly, it really is, while using the Grand Prix Hungry version. Camera very low down. Looks good here for Kevin Lavroni. What an awesome V-taper. An X-frame. But then you look at the uh, the X next to uh, Kevin Lavroni. Now there is an X-frame. I love the way he holds his legs. I'm sure some people criticize it. Oh, don't put your legs like that. I like it. He even does the tippy-toe, tippy-toe, but you can't see the tippy-toe. Looks good. I'm all, I, you know, I'm going to almost give an edge here to Chris Cormier, and I'm surprised, to be honest with you. Turn to the side for the first of the two side shots, and here is where the Marilyn muscle machine, soaked in glowy stick liquid or not, just unbelievable, unbelievable. I remember we had a teacher. We got caught with these glowy things, and he had a, he had a bit of a high voice. And we were hiding them on him. And he, he said the word damn. He, Give me the damn glowy sticks. And we made fun of him for years and years. Still to today. I'm 40 years old. I drive by. I see that teacher walking by. Give me the damn glowy sticks. Anyway, guys. A little bit of a backstory for Mark's Max Muscle. This is going to Kevin Lavroni for sure. For sure. Look at the chest. I love this pose for Kevin Lavroni. Taking nothing away from Chris Cormier. Like I said, he placed third in 1999. So every one of his poses has to be good. Side tricep. And again, you Maryland Muscle Machine fans, I'm sure you're rejoicing right now. This is an obvious win. Now this is where he was getting an edge in the side chest. Was Kevin Lavroni. Because of that side display. Throwing those abs in the chest from the side. Now Chris Cormier... Some of the best packs displayed in certain shots, 
maybe not the thickest, but the biggest, widest, very perfect clavicle width. Like I said, not really being displayed here. But from the side, Kevin Lavroni, all the way, side chest development. And look at the tricep, tricep itself. I mean, this is the side tricep, not the side chest. I'm sure I've made that mistake more than once. Turn around. This is going to make or break this competition. Whereas Kevin Lavroni was getting an edge in both of the side shots. Maybe an edge to Cormier out of the two fronts. But it's pretty much a toss-up, I think. Might even be giving an edge to Kevin Lavroni in the front double. So... Basically an edge going to Kevin Lavroni heading into these back shots. And he does have some strided glutes. Who cares about strided glutes, mate? But Chris Cormier, he seems to be so conditioned everywhere else that I just don't think that he's flexing his glutes. Or he just, he has that genetic trait, guys. He doesn't have strided glutes. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Hamstrings, though. And where it counts in the back development. Chris Cormier is defeating the Maryland Muscle Machine. And this is Kevin's pose, the rear lat, if you're going to, you know, divide the two. And now go to that, like I said, maybe a weaker shot for for uh, Kevin Lavroni. But also maybe a weaker one for Chris Cormier. Look at his Christmas tree, though, guys. Chris Cormier, it looks like a spearhead, a Native American spearhead or... Inuit people, I pro they probably don't like to be called Native Americans, after all, America, it's a Spanish name, so if you're a native to the Canadas, I guess you, c you could say, it looks like one of those spears, spearheads, anyway, 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 look at the hamstrings here for Chris Cormier, I think that he's getting a clear victory, guys, both of these back shots, but at the end of the day, these orange glowy sticks give me the glowy sticks these pictures of chris, or of kevin lavroni i don't know why i'm getting their names mixed up kevin lavroni chris cormier boyer co um Bertel fox you guys remember that anyway finish this one off and if chris cormier was in my mind and in my heart for a victory heading into the last two shots which it was close, guys, because Kevin was winning to both sides. I think this here is going to put this baby to bed. This is going to, you know, put that final nail in the coffin. This ab and thigh pose of Chris Cormier. Some of the best bodybuilding history has to show us. And Kevin Lavroni, as good as he is, no matter what, no matter what, guys. I put Kevin Lavroni in matchups. And for some reason, everybody that he goes against has an awesome ab and thigh. An awesome ab and thigh. So he seems to coming out, be coming out on the losing end of it pretty much every time. But the most muscular, he usually can pull off a victory. But against Chris Cormier, guys, and I was talking about that, that wide clavicle, that look at his chest plate. He has one of the biggest and best chest plates I've ever seen. Kevin Lavroni's a little bit narrow, if I had to be nitpicky. Of course, he makes up for it with those big delts. Just impressive, and the arms as well. Chris Cormier, though, just so complete was Chris Cormier in 1999. He always had the shape, good muscle separation. He brought a little extra size to that physique and created one of the best bodybuilding physiques that I've ever seen. He is your winner, guys. Chris Cormier, 1999, Mr. Olympia. Not too many bodybuilders that can beat him. Not too many. Probably the best third place physique ever in bodybuilding history. I can't think of, well, I don't know. Rolly Winkler looked pretty good. 2018. That'd be a good video. Would it not? You guys want to see something like that? Tell me. Tell me now. Call me. Collect. Call me on the phone. Never mind. You know how it goes. I should have did it in the peeled voice. Call me on the peeled when I am dieting and off my cookies so I can be peeled, peeled, peeled. That's it, guys. That's your fan request Friday lineup. I'm gone.